And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. Last time we entered the LA Boneyard and we talked to a few people in here. Um, one of them being the so-called mayor of this town. Which I guess was in this building. Um, yes, that was... No, just, just a random inhabitant. John Zimmerman, the mayor of this town, okay. Um, yeah, he told us to basically kill um, the leader of the of a certain gang that is to the north of here, and he accused those people of committing atrocities against um, against his wife, I believe. There are a few people in this area that we want to talk to, however, before we do anything like killing um, said gang leader. Namely, we wanted to talk to Smitty. Okay, this is the Miles, the guy who is re, um, basically manufacturing the bullets for, this, for the people here. This is a grungy man in dark blue clothes that we haven't yet talked to, so let us do so. Hey, I don't believe we've met. You are? Um, I'm Mr. Man. The pleasure's mine. I'm... I'm called Sam... Samuel. That's a, that's a weird name. Samuel. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I'm called Samuel. Um, what do you do here? I'm a scav. A scavenger. My job is to search out all of LA Boneyard for useful items and information. Dangerous work. Um, why is it danger? Well, okay, it's okay. Why is it dangerous? Well, you've got the death claw, death claws out there, and then you get the regulators back here and edit them. Both ain't the most forgiving types. Hmm, how do you avoid the death claws? We work only at night and we're good at what we do. But I'll admit, not everyone comes always comes back. Last week, I sent a guy up north to look for, so, for some parts for miles and we haven't heard him from him since. The last transmission I got from him was that he'd found the parts and was on his way back. Okay, this is a hint. Um, That we'll probably find some useful parts in the north, I suppose. You see a small child. Hi. Hello. Okay, that was a meaningful conversation. Um, hi. Where are your parents? I don't know. Around here somewhere. Um, so in this area, in the L. I. Boneyards. We can. Um, there are actually a few things uh, that we could find. Amongst them um, is an enhanced version of the power armor, and you can also upgrade. Um, okay, I don't have it in my inventory, so the plasma rifle. Um, I forgot what what it's what it was called exactly, but one of the weapons we deposited in the bank in the hub. Um, it was a plasma rifle and you can actually upgrade it here in the LA Boneyard. Um, if you get a certain conversation with Smitty. So we definitely want to... Okay, we don't want to steal this crowbar, but we do want to talk to Smitty. Um, okay. Who are you? You see a dark-skinned man adorned with bright scarves and trinkets. Hello, stranger. May I be of service? Um, I'm getting to know the people of Aditum. Hmm. Maybe, why do you assume that I need something? We all need something, don't we? 
and you wouldn't have to talk and you wouldn't have talked to me if you didn't want something, whether that be information, conversation, or perhaps guidance. I can tell that you've been through a lot. What do you need? Hmm. Now that you mention it, perhaps you can give me some advice. Chuck pulls out a set of tarot cards. Let me let me consult the cards. He shuffles the cards. Chuck pulls out a card with a picture of a man with a vibro knife and a flag. The Prince of Swords in the Northwest. You must face a powerful foe to the Northwest. Hmm. Do you actually believe this stuff? It works for me. If you don't want to believe, then it's not for you. Um. Well, I guess we each have our own beliefs. Indeed we do. And your universe is shaped by your beliefs, while my universe is shaped by my thoughts. We may not share beliefs, but I wish you well in your universe. Hmm. That was an interesting conversation. Um. Okay, let us actually talk to the rest. Ah. There's someone who doesn't look like everyone else. You see Lorraine, a scare from the Editum. Hi. Are you new here? Um, yes, I'm called Mr. Man. I'm Lorraine. Can I ask you a few questions? I suppose. What do you need to know about? Mm, what can you give me some information about LA Boneyard? This used to be a big city called Los Angeles. Oh, that's interesting. But the bombs hit really hard. Now, there's just the angel's boneyard. Uh, there's just the angel's boneyard. We added toners are just trying to survive in the wreckage. Can you tell me more about Los Angeles? Lots of people lived here. From what I can hear, the survivors hid in a big place called a vault and came out years later. Some... Um... Well, some of them started the regulators and then founded Editum, while the others formed the blades. The gun runners aren't from here originally. So I suppose actually the um so this this gang in the northwest, those other blades, yeah. I was probably told that in the last video and I just forgot, okay. So it appears we have to kill them. Um and unfortunately the <laughs> They appear to be um, melee fighters, just like I am, so... However, I do have the um, alien blaster, which makes this... will make this um, fight probably a little bit, a little bit more um, even. Okay. Um, where is this vault? I, that's actually a very good question. Where, wh where is this vault? Well, supposedly it was somewhere south of here, but I don't know really. I think everyone left because it was broken. Um, can I ask you some more questions? Can you give me some... Uh, yeah. What's the deal with the regulators? They keep the peace around here and control all the money coming in and going out. The rest of the people here pretty much work for the regulators and that ain't the most forgiving job. Many of them don't ever see beyond the fence that surrounds this place. Hmm. It does seem that the that the regulators really take advantage of the other people. Hmm. Very nasty. Can I ask you some other things? I suppose. What do you need to know about? Um. Where are the gun runners from? I'm not really sure. I think they came from somewhere up north of here. Okay, Zerp. Tell me a bit about the other residents of Aditum. What do you want to know about? Um, first of all, I want to know about Z John Zimmerman because this character... ...seems to be a bit suspicious, to say the least. Zimmerman watches over our town. He makes sure that everyone gets fed and that everybody has a job to do. Mm. Actually, 
So actually, to be fair, John Zimmerman isn't really... Um, actually, he isn't, he isn't suspicious. Rather, he seems to be um, a little bit naive. Actually, the, the regulators are seem, seem to be the people that we should be sus suspicious of. Okay. Tell me about Caleb. Caleb is the leader of the regulators. It's his job to protect Adidon. He seems to enjoy it a little bit more than he should. Hmm. Another hint that there's something going on here. Can I ask you about someone else? How about Miles? Ah, our resident chemist. Miles makes bullets and he also built a water distiller that makes sure we get clean water from the well. He's working on an underground farm right an underground farm right now, but he's missing some parts. Um We should talk to Miles then. Tell me about Tyne or Tina. Uh Tyne runs runs the shop. It's in the bunker near the gate. He trades with the hub merchants for us. Okay. Tell me about Smitty. Hmm. Smitty is a tinker of sorts. He's good at repair work. He casts bullets and fixes broken stuff around town. Um Okay. I think we are pretty much done with talking to you. Uh who are you? A large muscular man. Good day. What can I do you for? May I ask your name? Why? Everyone just calls me Smitty. Probably because I'm the local blacksmith. That would be an explanation, I guess. Um, can I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Where did you get all of your shop equipment? Why? Any competent blacksmith can make his own anvil. Cause I really just sort of learned the craft by practice, but I made most of my own tools. I guess you can actually help us out in acquiring the parts that we need for the for getting the power armor from the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, what all do you make here? Mostly I make and repair tools and implements here. I also fix things for the hub merchants. With the help of Miles, the chemist, I reload, I reload bullets from time to time. Can you make guns and bullets? Well, building guns and making shells takes machining, and I just don't have the tools for that. But, with the help of Miles, the chemist, I can reload all brass since I can cast bullets. Okay, um. I want to. No, I don't want to steal his inventory. Um. I'd like to buy something. Uh, I'd recommend that you check out. Tyne store just to one side of the gates. I don't actually sell anything here. I trade it to mine or the hub merchants for goods. Okay, you don't sell anything. Maybe you could still barter with me. He has a few things that we actually potentially want, like this. Um, stim packs. Okay, is there something that we want to get rid of, however? I don't think that there is much that we want to get rid of at the moment, so maybe we don't trade with you. Uh, but we will ask you some more questions like, what about the blades? Hmm. What do you know about Zimmerman? Yeah, okay, he knows that he's the mayor, which is something, okay. What do you know about power armor? Hmm, what do you know about... The Brotherhood of Steel. What do you know about um, the Master? What do you know about a conspiracy? Okay, I don't. I, I don't think this will lead. Uh, this conversation will lead to anything in particular. Um, uh, someone tells someone to stay in line. Ah, that was this guard. Um, yeah, that was Callop. Okay, um, so Smitty. Ah, we just, yeah, we should talk to Miles and ask him about this underground farm. And then we should probably go to the shop 
um, and try to trade something. Hello again. Can I help you? Um, whatever, what other chemicals do we work with? Um, well, I've been trying to get some strong acids so that Smith can use them for etching. I also have been trying to make some permanent dyes and inks. But without access to natural inks, it's difficult. Tell me about the underground farm. Hmm. Okay, some more. Okay, you can't talk to him about the underground farm, apparently. Yes, although Smitty is the one who actually cast the bullets, I just refilled the brass casings. But the hub merchants make a profit off of you and the town. Yes, well, we have to make a living. Since the hydroponic farms aren't functioning, we have to buy food from the merchants and bullets are the only thing we have to sell. Well, I could try to get the parts to fix the hydroponic farms. Really? That would be wonderful. We're just missing a few parts. But I'm sure that if you could scrounge up the right pieces, we could be self-sufficient. Samuel might be able to give you some help. Okay, um... So I have to now remember who Samuel was. Or where, where he was, rather. Um, no, that's just a small child. Okay, okay who was Samuel? Are you... No, you're just a random inhabitant. I think you are... No, you are Chuck. Okay. Uh... You are not Samuel. You are Smitty. Okay. Um, I just... <laughs> okay, this is embarrassing. Okay. When we will come back, folks, I will actually... Well, have... S remembered who Samuel was, or is, rather. And then we will uh, check out to the north uh, and maybe take on the blades. So until next time, folks, until then.